Douglas for an escort. Doesn't get much better. The zebra are glistening clean after last night's rain. I'm thoroughly enjoying the fact that they think we need an escort. To be honest though, what they're doing is they obviously feel much safer running on the road because they can kind of see a little bit ahead of them as opposed to running in this very long grass either side of the road. So it's a bit of a safer route you could say for them. Okay guys. Oh well. Happy for them to continue escorting us. I've never driven this road, so we're heading back up to the escarpments, as you can see. Sadly, the lions actually made their kill up on the hill, and as we got into position where those vehicles were, they were actually looking up at the lions, making their way down, and as we got there, the lions popped into the forest. So our timing was a little bit off, but happy to hear that the Angama Pride made a successful kill last night. They've got 10 cubs to feed, seven of a similar age, maybe three or four months, and the other three of about a month old. So the mothers have got a big responsibility on their hands and happy to know that they're doing well. It's absolutely beautiful up here. I'm very glad we decided to explore this road. I'm just going to stop and let Fur give you a bit of a pan around. To show you where we're heading, there's a few elephants. The largest herd of buffalo I've also seen since we've, since we've been here. Some zebras catching up to the rest of their herd. Beautiful. So there's some ellies. Very wonderful. And I mean, you get a great idea of how long this grass is when you can't even see the elephant's stomachs, really, or just, that one's on a bit of a hill. Hi, William. You're interested to know if these grassy plains get burnt every year. And not every year, so to speak, but lightning-induced fires will happen here. I'm actually not sure when the last fire burnt through the Mara. And I know they may also do, possibly do, controlled burns every now and then to simulate the effects of lightning. There's a large herd of buffalo. A few more ellies in the foreground. Wonderful. So, yeah, William, a combination of things, lightning-induced fires, possibly man-made fires to simulate lightning, even in large ecosystems like this, it's important to understand that there are neighboring communities outside this park or reserve. And if a lightning strike was to happen outside the park that would naturally get blown into it, people may extinguish that fire before it gets the chance to do so. So it does require man to get involved at some point. Sure, she's got a beautiful tusk. It's a pity the other one's missing. I wonder why that one lady's holding her tail out like that. It's usually a sign that they're unhappy. And are we very far away? So I'm not sure that it seems to be going vertical again. When they hold them out horizontally, it's usually a bad sign. But look at the way they've all stopped like this. Now, I wonder, and they've all huddled together, that one female held up her tail. I'm wondering if they're not picking up infrasonic frequencies from another herd, passing a message on to them. Well, maybe they can sense a predator. Who knows? They've got obviously great senses of smell. And even though they don't have a huge amount to fear for lions, they dislike them. And will chase them off as and when they get sent to them, or possibly just run off if they don't feel safe. There's a great shot to the right of us here, Dave, of the zebra. Again, just to give you an idea of how long the grass is. I mean... How wonderful is that? And they are glistening today. Now, I'm going to ask Ferg just to go back to that herd of elephants that we were looking at earlier who had stopped, because now you can see they're kind of marching with quite a lot of purpose. So, although now they've stopped.
but I'm fairly certain they're picking up some infrasonic frequencies from other Ellie's. Who knows what the messages are, but they, they, their, their behavior doesn't seem to be quite right. Anyway, let's go and take a closer look there. We'll see where this road eventually leads us to. So please do send through questions, hashtag Safari Live, it is a live safari. We would all love to be in touch with you. And if you're watching for the first time, let us know. It's always wonderful to hear that there are new people who have discovered Safari Live. Let us know how you stumbled across us. Let us know where in the world you are, what animals you may hope to see, and we can try best fine-tune and tailor-make this safari to your needs. Okay, now this elephant cow in front of us is not happy. So we're just going to stop here. You can see a perfect illustration of her tail being held out like that. That is a sign that she's not happy. She's holding her head high. To look as fierce as possible. And even she is glistening clean, those white ivory tusks, after last night's rain. Beautiful. Well, it could just be the long grass that's unnerving them a bit. Who knows? She does have a youngster with her, so she will have natural maternal instincts kicking in. You can barely see the youngster the grass is so long. Hello to Nomophilus. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. You're interested to know whether one of the females in that herd we were looking at earlier is actually pregnant. So let's take a look back at them. They could well be. I didn't notice that, but I wasn't looking very closely, to be honest. And yes, I think you are in fact right. The female second from the left, holding up, she's just also the perfect angle. Look at her testing the wind. Absolutely awesome. I love it when they turn their trunk into a periscope for smelling. Now I wonder if there isn't something like a lion in the area or possibly that was in the area. I mean the zebra don't keep, seem concerned but these elephants just aren't acting quite as they should be in my opinion. So yes the female back to your question on the second to the left does look pregnant. She's at the perfect angle to see her stomach bulging out from side to side. And wouldn't it be interesting to know how long down the 22-month road of pregnancy she is? Judging by the fact that we can see her belly protruding so much, I'd guess she possibly is quite far down that path already. It will also be interesting to know how she lost her other tusk. Possibly prying off bark from a tree, using it as a tool for feeding. It's such a peaceful morning out here. There's literally hardly a breath of air. Very quiet. Now, David, you also are admiring this elephant cow's tusks all the way in Napa Valley. And you're interested to know if there's a different name used for elephant cows with big tusks. The bulls are termed tuskers. And to be honest, I think the females are also termed tuskers. They just are in the female category. 
A friend of mine got a video of a huge elephant cow in Savo National Park a couple of months ago, and her tusks almost touched the ground, a phenomenally large elephant cow, and she must certainly, or she should be allowed to certainly consider herself as a tusker, despite her gender. So unless any of you know of anything else, I'm, I'm certain that they are all just called tuskers. You just differentiate between whether it's a bull or a cow. Okay, marvellous. Well, I am interested to see where this road leads us. I'm guessing it's going to bend around the base of the escarpment. It's also going to be a good test for signal here because the, the mountain may get in the way of the frequencies. So this is a bit of a test. And I was just telling Ferg, I'm trying to drive, you know, new roads every day. Get a feel for the lie of the land. It's absolutely critical when you arrive in a wilderness area that you work out your way around so that if you do get updates of anything exciting happening, you can get there as quick as possible. And an area like this is great. So already I've learned that this is probably not going to be a very busy area. So somewhere nice to come out and spend some time just with you and me, and Ferg. Okay, let's see if the escort clears out the road. That's it, that's a better idea. Oh no. Okay, well, as we continue pioneering this little pathway, we shall send you back to Tristan, who's still with those leopards.